Um, our next video is going to talk about our second type of deformer, which is a curved deformer. And where I'm going to add this curved deformer to is maybe these little chunks of hair. And I'll just pick one of these chunks of hair. These are individual pieces that I can easily choose one and add it to. Just like the bone deformer, I want to turn on my rigging tool. And I'm going to switch from my bone articulation mode to my curve mode. And again, I'm going to start out by thinking, where do I want to rotate from? And I guess it would be from here, because our hair is attached to our head. So it's going to be on the side in which things are attached. And I'm going to click, and I'm going to drag up a little bit. And then I'm going to go to the other end, and I'm going to click and drag down. Now, I can make these handles longer or shorter, if I need it to be longer or shorter, or change the shape of of these, but I'm going to just maybe match up kind of the center spline of that drawing. And now I'm going to turn off my rigging tool, and now we have this kind of free shape that I can sort of turn and bend and, and basically make it go in any shape that I, I want it to. So again, I'm going to do that again with another piece of hair. I'm going to select it, turn on my rigging tool. I'm going to make sure I have my curve mode on. And I'm going to click and drag upwards. And then I'm going to let go and click and dra drag back to where I came from. And now we, whoops. And now when I turn off my, my rigging tool, by turning on my transform tool, we can see how that piece of hair can be animated. Okay, thank you very much for watching. The next thing we're going to look at is our envelope deformer.